So today I want to touch on the antioxidant network, okay? You may have heard of antioxidants and free radicals. I just want to explain simply how it all works in a very simplistic presentation, okay? So a free radical is a, um, an atom with an unpaired electron. Basically, if you envision a little spinning disc, okay, with two weights on it, if you take one of the weights off, you're going to see this little uh, non-symmetrical spinning disc and it's going to be lopsided. It's not going to be very, very um, smooth. It's going to be erratic, right? So that would be a free radical. An antioxidant is an atom that has a paired electron, so it spins nicely and um, it's balanced, okay? It's stable in nature. So this is very unstable and this can create a lot of damage inside your body. You can kind of think of it as rust on your car, um, the oxidation from the water and the oxygen, it goes on there and it's just, it just rests a hole in your car. Um, I'm from Wisconsin. We have a lot of uh, salt on the road and we have a lot of cars that are rusted. But anyway, examples of free radicals um, or oxidants would be iron, free iron, like in some of the enriched foods that we would consume, radiation, uh, sugar. Large quantities of sugar really destroy the body. Um, chemicals, pollution, smoking, vegetable oils can act as an oxidant and create free radicals. And so an antioxidant, what it does is it donates, it gives up one of its electrons to make this free radical stable. Now the problem is when vitamin E, for example, gives up this electron, it becomes unstable. It becomes a free radical, but not as severe as this, but it still becomes unstable. And that's why we have a network. We have many different uh, antioxidants. So, for example, vitamin C would then donate one of its uh, electrons to vitamin E. So vitamin C really helps vitamin E stay in there and do its work a lot longer. Vitamin E is really important in keeping the inside of the arteries really, really healthy. So these two work together. Um, and so then... <laughs> Vitamin C will become unstable and it can borrow electrons from one of the other um, antioxidants. So then you have zinc involved as an antioxidant. It actually is really good to lower inflammation. Selenium, vitamin B1, it can act as an antioxidant uh, and it protects the cells against damage. So if you have uh, two diabetics, for example, and one is B1 deficient, the other one is not, the one that is B1 deficient will experience the complications of diabetes. So these antioxidants protect your body from the damage from free iron and radiation and sugar and chemicals and vegetable oils. This is why it's so important to consume foods with antioxidants. Uh, not necessarily some synthetic version. I'm talking about actual food, cruciferous vegetables, healthy foods with plenty of nutrients, vitamin C, uh, zinc, selenium. And by the way, zinc oysters, seafood, uh, lobster, high in zinc, selenium, Brazil nuts, vitamin C, all the leafy greens. Lipoic acid is another um, great antioxidant and it's a fat soluble, so it has the ability to penetrate into the cell and protect the cell at different locations. And then we have something called uric acid. Now you're probably thinking, wait, wait a second, I thought uric acid was bad. It's involved in gout and kidney stones, right? Well, it's also a very powerful antioxidant, even uh, more plentiful than vitamin C in the body. So it's there to help uh, clean up damage from various things, from oxidants. Now, one point about oxidants is that your body actually makes oxidants, okay? And it also comes from the environment as well. So your body makes hydrogen peroxide, for example. It makes things to basically defend the body, kills off microbes, kills off microbes, and also it's there to kill cells, to kill its own cells because you have this constant repair action. So the body's there to kill off and get rid of old dead cells and then replace them. Every second you replace 5 million cells, okay? Now how does the body kill those cells? with oxidants, its own oxidants. But you still need the antioxidants to repair some of the damage that's happening from this massive killing uh, action. So we have this entire system that's there to defend the body against microbes and replace old damaged cells. So then we have all these antioxidants here to make sure that we don't have too many free radicals 
too much damage from this right here. And also to clean up any damage from our own body making oxidants, uh, replacing uh, the cells and defending against microbes. All right, so that's just kind of an overview and another reason why you should continue to consume cruciferous vegetables and other health foods. Hey guys, I want to introduce you to my new Dr. Berg app. It's right here. It's, I'm really excited about it. You need to download it. It's free. It has a lot of great data. It has all my videos. It's updated on a regular basis. I also have the audio version of the videos, audio episodes. I also have a mini course that you can take. I also have a button for new content so you can really know of all the, the recent content that I'm downloading. And I also have something called PDF resources, which gives you additional cool little one page uh, PDF documents on all sorts of health things. So download it, check it out and tell me what you think about it. And don't forget to give me a review. It's Dr. Berg app.